What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I found a video that let's just say it's it's very stupid. And I I, I just can't understand it. So uh, this video here it says when parents realize their children are arrested. Uh, this video is coming from the channel by the name of Inspector Ray. I just subscribed to him uh, just a bit ago. Uh, I just now like this video. This video was posted eight days ago, and uh, it has to do with some kids getting in trouble. Uh, it's not the way you're seeing it. It's not the way you're seeing it. It's not the way I'm seeing it either. So uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity. We're gonna watch this video, and I'm gonna cut my mic off so you guys can hear it. He was arrested for driving a mini car. So I'm going to write you for no seatbelt. To the priceless reaction of the mother who couldn't handle her rebellious son getting arrested. He's a little boy. He didn't do anything wrong. Yes, he's 15, but he's still a little boy. On August 16th, 2019, Volusia County officers launched an arrest operation following a tip from the FBI about a kid who had made threats to carry out a mass shooting at his school while playing an online video game. I, Dalton Barnhart, vow to bring my father's M15 to school and kill seven people. And Falcon Warrior 920? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands on your back. He's under arrest currently for making a threat to cause a mass shooting slash act of terrorism. Cause a mass shooting? Yes. He made a statement, a threat, a written threat to plan or to carry out a mass shooting. But he's just a little kid playing a video game. And all that's these kids so keep far. getting arrested. And that's why the FBI and the local law enforcement is spending so much time. Because how do we know he's not going to be the kid from Parkland? He's not going to be the This ain't the only video that you see. It's actually showing that, the kid, that kids are getting arrested for stupid shit. And I'll, I will say this one is kind of stupid. But... For the kid himself, he should have never made threats to plan a school shooting. I don't understand why a parent would raise their kid to know that, even if it's a video game or not. I mean, that that still is it's still stupid, you know. So let's continue watching. Next kid, the kid that shot up Sandy. Hook. We don't know that. So when you withdraw the attention to you. By making these statements as they may be jokes. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't expect the kid to go, yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm going to go shoot everybody up. No, uh -huh. when they're caught, it's a joke. I didn't mean it. It's a joke. Uh -huh. so that's when you're caught. But you, 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 these games, these kids say stuff like that all the time. It guess, is a joke to them. It's a game. Guess what, it's so guess what wrong. My, my time in law enforcement game. is spent doing uh -huh. is arresting these kids for making these statements all the time and for stopping acts as well okay so that's what our job is, is to make contact because these kids think it is a game or a joke so they uh -huh. go ahead and make these comments uh -huh. but it's just a comment so how is there an there's, a, there's a Florida state statute that says you cannot make a written threat to cause a mass shooting act or kill or harm anybody else the mother hadn't fully comprehended the seriousness of her son's actions and by the time she realized that the officers were there for a serious matter the situation became too much for her to handle <laughs> Despite the mother's insistence that her child was different, the law makes no exceptions, and ignorance is no defense. A fact. You can plainly see how this mother's reacting to her son getting arrested for teach for the mother to teach his, her son this kind of shit. That that's that's stupid. I mean, why would a mother teach that to their own child? That's just that's just fucking stupid. Like, that's real stupid. In fact, the officer was keen to point out. Person. Do you own a gun? I have a, 
a gun, yes. Okay, so he, said he has hands and feet. He can grab your gun and go do something. He would never do anything like that anyway. We don't know. We don't know. If no, but goes. I know. And I know. Most parents have it, ma'am. We're going to take him. He's going to go to our operation center. The officers arrested the kid, taking him into custody, where he faced charges for a felony offense. This mother's excuses for her son's behavior were a clear indication of why he turned out that way. However, in the next case, the... Alright, so this case that you guys are watching now, this one, it begins with kids stealing a car, but this is the father of one of the daughters, the, the poor girls that got in trouble. I'm just going to let you guys say it for yourself, because it's too, it is really so fucking stupid. I, I just can't, I just can't say anything about it. I'll just let y'all watch it. Father provided a great example by teaching his child a valuable life lesson. Um, all of them need to go to jail. They need to learn a valuable lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? On January 20th, 2023, police officers arrested four teenage girls, Maria, Denise, Irisa, and Aaliyah, for stealing a car. But this was no ordinary car. It belonged to Maria's dad. They were later apprehended, and when the officers finally brought Maria and her friends, who stole the vehicle, to her father, his stance was clear. He clearly wanted them to pay for their actions. I appreciate you guys Are you so Mr. Much. Thomas? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yeah, Thomas. I appreciate you guys. Take so. care um, you got your vehicle and everything? Yeah. Okay, what did they let you know? Um, uh, just press charges. That's it. Okay. They got all my information. He said if I wanted to press charges, he said yes. Um, all of them need to go to jail. They need to learn a valuable lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Have respect for authority. They, they always say the police and the police. You know what? I did 10 years in prison. Did I ever say the police? You know what? I f***ed up myself. Okay? I have respect for the deals. I have respect for everybody. It was my business that I went and did what I did, okay? Uh, but I never acted like that, you know? A real G takes care of his shit, you know what I mean? That That is ridiculous. I put a roof over her head, I, I, I took her from harm's way, I went to Mexico to get her. When she was three, three months old, she had a breathing problem, her mother left her in the room for like two weeks by herself, she almost died, man, you know what I mean? But she doesn't she doesn't think about that, that I brought her and, and, and I had to get paperwork from the district court and everything just to get her here. Just wrap everything up and then we're gonna call their parents. Okay. Yeah, they need to go to jail. Yeah, yeah they need okay. to go to jail. Are these the same ones that were breaking stuff in your yeah. houses? Yeah, they, they broke a thousand dollars worth of windows. Yeah. These girls are part of all, all these girls right here are part of that, okay? Did any of the parents come forward and say, you know what, I'm gonna take responsibility for what my kid did, yeah. right? And pay a little bit or call James up and ha have some way I could pay, right? Yeah. No, they didn't do that. Chances are they gotta call JPO. Yeah. JPO is the only one that can approve detention. Like, I know you want them in jail, so yeah. do we. But if JPO says, no, nope, we don't approve detainment, all they get is a juvenile yeah. citation and it sucks. Hang on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I was trying to deal with her. Anyway, uh, let's go back to this video because I'm, I'm typically wanting to hear the rest of this. Because you're right, the system's broken, it sucks. Nobody understands that better than us. Yeah. We can arrest them on violent crimes, and JPO's like, okay, release them back to the parent. Well, like, yeah, what if I'm the going parent, to work. What if, what if the parent's the victim? Yeah. So you just want to release them back? Yeah, so, I'm hey, going hey. I'm going to go to work, so I don't know who she's going to be released to. I'm going yeah. straight back to work, so okay. they can... I don't know. Uh, they can take her to jail. Just Unfortunately, due to the departmental guidelines and procedures, the officers were instructed to return the kids to their guardians. Maria's dad, however, wasn't pleased with this decision and clearly stated he doesn't want his daughter Maria back home with them. When the cops broke this news to Maria, it left her devastated. Right, Maria, here's the plan. You want all the plans? Dad doesn't want you at the house. CYFD, the, I'm sorry, JPO is not authorizing you to go to jail. So you can't go to jail. But I can't let you go with anybody that's not your relative, and your dad's not working with me on that. So the best option we could do is I'm gonna turn you over to Child Protective Services, and they're gonna try to find you placement, probably in a foster home temporarily until you can figure something out. I know that's not what you want. It's not. This is the part I wanted to talk about. For instance, Let's say this is my daughter. And I am the father of him. Or well, father her. Take that back. Father her. And she gets in trouble like this. I'm not going to be the one to tell my daughter. Or tell a cop to tell my daughter. That she's not allowed to come home with me anymore. 
I understand that this woman got this girl got in trouble. She should go to jail. The, the, the dad's right, but that right there is totally totally stupid. Why wouldn't you want your daughter at home? No matter if it's your own vehicle that she stole. Like seriously. I have a daughter of my own. And I'm not about to let that fucking happen. I understand he got all the papers. Go to court. All this shit to get to her over there. And her mom didn't want nothing to do with her. I get that. But when it comes to this father, y'all are just seeing. That, this is totally fucking stupid. If a father is going to be a father, the father needs to step up and tell his own daughter that, hey, you need not need to be doing this. You don't need to be doing this at all. But in a mad way, you should tell her, you're coming home with me, and you're grounded, or you're not allowed to see your friends for a week, or just stuff like that. I'm not going to sit here and throw my daughter out over this shit. Like, that, that's just completely stupid. This father is not a father. I'm going to tell you that right now. I understand he got her there, but now he wants to get rid of her? Nah. Nah. Let's cut to the chase. That father is not a father. These cops are not the problem in this one. It's the father himself. That's fucked up. And he's wrong for that. Let's see what else is in store for us. Not what I want either. But I can't let you go home with dad. That's going to make a problem worse, right? You're going to be cool. I'm not got no problems with you. I can take you out of handcuffs. You're not going to attack me or do anything crazy, right? Not gonna try to run from me? Maria's case was quite sad, but Denise wasn't left out either, as her parents wanted nothing to do with her. We can put, we can put you in your aunt's home. You guys and are then so really hard, with though. Wow, this situation only gets worse from here. Now there's a mother is doing this to her now. Let me just put this out there for you mothers and fathers out there. If you have a child as eight months like mine or this girl's age and they get drunk like this, shh, you're right. Damn. Sorry. Um, and you do this shit to your daughter like this at her age. Throwing her fucking out at four fucking teen. Bro. I understand that she's got to learn something. But you do not throw your fucking kids out. I will say this. Any person that throws their own child out of their own home. That's not even 21. Not even 18. Should be charged. Better yet, should even allow to even get their kids back. I'm just going to say this on another spot of the situation. I hope to God that these two girls find another home that's perfect and better than these fucking parents here. These parents not wanting to do it to a child is fucked up. I, I'll admit, I got in trouble. My mom didn't tell me that she didn't want nothing to do with me. She told me to learn on my own. And that's what I did. I'll admit it. I got in trouble once. I got arrested once. And you have to video up for it. But this situation now. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I disagree with all this. You are not allowing your daughter. This mother's not allowing her daughter. Out of aunt's. Now I'm around her, and the other daughter now around the, the father. 
Shame on both of you, bro. Really, shame the fuck on both of you. You should never have kids. Anybody that has kids that does this shit, it's on you. You wanted to have kids. And this is your problem. You throw your kids out. You should be ashamed of your fucking self. Because now you don't get to see your child anymore. That's fucked up. That's just totally fucked up. To throw your own kid out. Because of this issue? Really? And this girl ain't got no home. This girl ain't got no money. This girl ain't got a job. This girl ain't got shit. Even the other one don't have shit. All because he st they were involved in a stolen fucking car of another girl's father's car. Wow. You're sorry piece of shit parents. That's all I gotta say. Y'all some sorry piece of shit parents. And y'all are going to hell. That's what, sorry, that's what I'm saying right now. Y'all are going to hell. And that's final. You guys are making so hard. Like, I've been through so much already. You guys just don't understand. Like, I promise I won't run away from my dad's house. I won't do anything bad. Denise and Maria eventually had to be taken to juvenile centers, but the other two teenagers had considerate parents who took them back in. Nonetheless, their parents' reactions when the cop brought them back home was quite hilarious. Hello, how y'all doing? See, these parents here for the other two stepped up to take their ch children back from this situation. And they wanted their children back. You two parents that didn't want those other two, shame on both of you, bro. Shame on both of you. Y'all gonna regret this. Y'all gonna really gonna regret this down there, later down the road. Because once they get older, they're not gonna want to live with you anymore. They're not gonna call you. They're not gonna talk to you. They're not gonna want you at the hospital when they get an accident. They're gonna want shit from you. And it's gonna come back on you. Karma. Karma's a bitch. And everybody knows it's on this on this entire channel. Karma's a bitch. Everybody knows it. Good. Hey, I'm Officer Recall CPD. Are you Emily? Yes. Yeah. Got your daughter in the back seat. Um, lucky for her, she's not getting charged with anything today. Basically what happened is her and some friends went over to the friend's dad's house and stole his truck. <gasps> and so those two, the other two are in trouble. What do I need to do with her because she's on probation? Yeah, so because she's not charged with a crime, it's not a violation, but I'm going to leave you with a card okay. and let her probation officer know. I told her the same thing. I'm going to tell your mom, let the officer know, and you need to let her know yeah. that you had interaction with us, you got detained, because yep. basically they the truck was taken, they ditched it on Camino Real because some officers started following them and they all ran off. Wow. And so, lucky you for... You that, Amy? <laughs> so, I will give you a business card with I that case number. One of her friends stole the dad's truck. Um... Oh, she's so grounded, dude. The offenders in previous cases were teens. However, watch this mother's reaction. There you go. That mother stepped up and said that she is so grounded. Why couldn't you two parents done that same shit? Why? It ain't that hard to tell your child she's grounded. She's not going nowhere. She's going to school, and that's it. Coming home. And she's going to stay around you and going to the store or anywhere. That's it. No phone, no television, no uh, games, nothing. That's how I was raised. When you're grounded, you get your games taken away, you get your phone taken away, you get your computer taken away, and you sit in a room and with nothing. You get to listen to music on a stereo. Or you can go in the room and watch TV with them. But you can't do it in your own room. That's how I was raised. A lot of us were raised like that. Not a lot of us were, though. The newer generation is not raised on that yet. Like her. Because she's not old enough yet. So. Anyways. Uh, let's, go, let's continue to see what this one is. When the officer arrests her three-year-old daughter. While on patrol duty, a Cleveland police officer noticed two young children riding a toy car and proceeded to conduct a traffic stop, as he suspected they were exceeding the speed limit. Are you serious? Hi, can I see your I'm driver's license a proof of insurance? <laughs> you don't have a driver's license? No, it's just a romantic car. Where's the engine? 
That's your battery. That's better. I see the battery. Well, where's the engine? That's better. Okay, well, neither one of you got seatbelts on. They're free seatbelts. <sighs> Stay right here. I'll be right back. The officer seems to be having fun with the kids as he proceeded to write fake traffic tickets for the alleged reckless driving. Gonna have to issue you guys tickets. I mean... Oh! She doesn't want to go right. All right, all right. I won't issue you the ticket. The three-year-old had started to cry, but her mom knew the officer was joking and approached the situation with humor. Okay, she's not getting a ticket, but you are. You still are because you're the driver. Two point five miles an hour. That's point zero one over the speed limit for cars with no engines. All right, so I'm gonna write you. I'm on. I'm just gonna try not to be mad here, but. To be honest, that is a toy car. And I can kind of see he's joking. But it first says fake tickets. And now he's writing an actual ticket. Beyond fucking stupid. Thank you for no seatbelt. No seatbelt for your passenger. He ran away from the scene. Yes, and for your passenger crying. <laughs> and for speeding. Okay. So, you need to appear in court. I'm going to make sure this ticket is mailed to you. Do you have anything to say? All right. Well, try to enjoy your Easter. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> okay, got better from that one. So that one was no problem. That got better from there. Let's see the rest. In this case, the situation was all fun and games. However, things were far more serious in the next case, with over 16 children arrested, and their parents' reactions to their arrest was quite a spectacle. On January 21st, 2023, Maricopa police officers received a tip about an illegal party involving minors. Upon arrival, the officers divided into different groups and swiftly entered to round up all attendees. Somebody watch the front. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've seen this one, y'all, so I have already know what's going on here. I watched a similar video to this. Uh, it was like separate. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was about 16 kids. Uh, they were in this house that they're not supposed to be in. And they broke into it and they had a party and arrested all 16. All the parents uh, were pissed. Some of them were just shocked. So I'll let you all watch this. Hey, police department! Go, 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 go. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. get on the ground! Get on the ground! Now! Get on the ground! I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm on you, I'm on you. Chase, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now! Everybody! I didn't do anything. Get on the ground. 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 So check upstairs. Check upstairs. There's like three females. Get your ass down now. Down. Okay. Everybody, down okay. on your belly. Okay. If I have to repeat myself, someone's taking a ride with a taser. Okay. Okay. I got four females in the backyard. What well, part of the police is here? Don't you guys understand? That means you guys stop. Don't run. Officers rounded up about 16 individuals, aged between 15 and 20, who were partying in a house still under construction. To make matters worse, they also discovered THC, alcohol, used contraceptives, and loaded firearms among them. As the police began to detain them for booking, some parents arrived, and the reactions to their children's actions were incredibly amusing. What's hold on, hold on. What do you mean, what's going on? Why is Go he ahead. in handcuffs? Hey, because he's over here in a house, partying it up with some friends. There's guns involved, so that's why he's in handcuffs right now. Wow. Yeah. So go ahead and you want to talk what? to him real quick. Yeah. So what's going on? I'm sorry. 
I, I didn't want to interrupt your call. Um, you're going to end up going to the police station and just being processed. It'll be about a couple hours, and then we'll call you and have them pick them up. Hold on, okay. negative door, no. What are you processing? I don't, well, I don't understand what's happening. They entered a house that wasn't theirs. There's alcohol who, and who there's house guns. Is it? How did they get in this house? That's that's what we're trying to find out right now. But in the meantime, because there's guns, there's alcohol. Who's guns? That's what we're trying to find out. That's why they're being processed. Yeah. So why are they processing them when they don't know anything? Because he's a minor with alcohol in his possession. Alcohol and in his possession. There's alcohol in there, and that's why we got to process everybody. Or we got, we got just not just him. We is got it, many more people in there. Has he got alcohol in his hand? We're gonna find out. It's, we're gonna check to see if it's in the system too. So yeah, just we'll call want, you. We'll call you I in a couple don't want hours. Him in the system. Well, he's going to. He's, he's going to uh, the police station. Okay. So we'll process him, and we're trying not to take him to jail to juvie. We're gonna to try to get them released back to you in two hours, okay? So if, you get, if this is a good number, we'll call you in two hours to come get them, okay? I'm just not. After taking them all to the station for booking, the officers allowed the teenagers to call their mothers to pick them up, and the officer made sure to give the parents a piece of his mind. Hello. Hello, is this Giselle? Yes. Hi, this is Officer Pin with Maricopa Police Department. I'm calling you. Did you get another call from another officer yet? Did you tell me what what happened just to make sure, like I. I yeah, know. I mean, I mean, all, all of them were trespassing and some were committing burglary and they were doing drugs and probably we're going to try to have underage sex because we caught them with a bunch of condoms, but hopefully we broke it up before that happened and some of them had guns and some of them were serious felons that they were hanging out with, you know, so they were making really good life choices. As most of them were minors, they were released to their parents without being charged with trespassing. While these mothers may have been lenient with their children, watch the reaction of the next mother as she evidently holds her child to a much higher standard. I don't know where he's getting this behavior from. This is not how I raised him. On March 17th, 2021, officers patrolling a local local beach observed a large group of young adults having a party. During the party, a fight erupted, prompting the officers Now, I have not seen this one. That last video y'all saw, that's the one that I've seen uh, previously uh, about a month or two ago. That party one I saw a month or two ago. So, uh, I've got to add it. That part, they called the parents and released them. So I, I didn't remember most of it, but I saw some of it. So, let's continue. To intervene and arrest those involved in the altercation. You were f on top of him, bro! I didn't do shit! You didn't even have to talk about him! You're because of y'all stupid f ass right now, Stay bro! Stay on the ground! You Sir. so f dumb! Sir. You're Sir. dumb! You should have let go! Three people came up to me, they're like, they want to fight! Yo, I don't know that! Officer! Officer! I'm Sir! Sir, 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 I was scared for my life. Stop. Stop. Give me your hand. Ow, bro. Bro, like, chill. What am I doing wrong? Ow. What the f are you doing, bro? AOP, get this f You f stupid f Get off me. One of the males involved was arrested and placed in the back of a squad car. As the officers were still attempting to control the crowd, the suspect committed a foolish act that would ultimately guarantee his trip to prison. <laughs> Bro, this dude should be arrested for opening that door. That's stupid. You're screwed. Oh, why are y'all doing this to me, bro? You're so screwed. You're going to prison. Why are y'all doing this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Back up. Get up. Back up now. Back up. Back up. You're going to prison, son. For what? You shouldn't have done that. Look at my, look at my wrist. You shouldn't have done that. Congratulations. You're getting an escaping charge. You got an escape charge. He was arrested, and as repeated by the cops, he only got himself in more of a mess. But the crowd at the beach had a different opinion. You can find the kid that opened my car door. Point him out. Find that other kid. He's going too. Hey, you, hey, you know what? I just called that. That dude that opened that door is now also getting arrested for that shit. That's what he gets. Make bad choices. That's what you get. That's how it happens. What's gonna happen? 
Yeah, he's gonna go to prison. No, 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 no. Escape. He's gonna go to prison. So whoever let him go? No, no. Whoever let him go? Screwed him. I'm serious. If you don't win in court. He will not win. It's everything's on camera. This is still gonna go to do. We got it. We got it. We root for him. Prison. Prison, prison, bro. Everybody that escapes, it's prison. I'm telling you. No, it's still a juke. Okay, you'll see. As the crowd became increasingly rowdy and difficult to manage, the officers had to transport the suspect to the station. Along the way, the officers stopped at a location to search and question the suspect. During this time, the officer noticed the suspect receiving a call from his mother. Hi, this is Officer Fowler with the Clearwater Police Department. How are you doing today? Yeah, he's. this is the second time I've talked to him this weekend. Actually, I talked to him yesterday. He's making absolutely very poor decisions. I understand there's kids making stupid decisions, but he is making horrible decisions today. Ma'am, I'm not denying that you tried to raise this boy. He's not showing me that today, I can tell you that. This is the last three months of he's been hanging around with those crazy people. I'll do what I can, but I have no promises. I don't know where he's getting this behavior from. This is not how I raised him. I can understand your love, but I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I would be pissed off too. Please, if you would consider, please. Okay. All right, I, ma'am, I gotta let you go because I have to talk to him now, okay? The boy was charged with fleeing, and the kid who opened the cop's car was tracked, arrested, and subsequently charged. If you like videos like this. Good, he was tracked down and arrested. Wow. This is a big video, it's about 18 minutes long, but I made it longer. <laughs> All right, oh, oh. Uh, that's the video for today. I do want to have a comment that I'm gonna bring up in this, this deal. So, uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, here's this comment here. Uh, I woke up to this morning. It was, I woke up about around, uh, about 10, 10, 30. And, uh, I woke up to my, uh, looking at my phone and I seen this comment. This woman, I'm mentioning you right now. And you've been removed from the channel. She said, her name is Wendy Smith. She said, it's a shame you can't speak without swearing. Because of that, I will not watch your videos. Show your intelligence by speaking without using those offensive words. Who really cares about you? Who, who, this is my channel. Who really cares about what you say? Hate comments? I don't even give a damn. And Wendy Smith, you see this? That means fuck you. No one gives a shit about your comment. No one cares about what you say. So you can say all you want. No one gives a shit. I'm going to say what I want on this channel. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. If you want to leave the channel, go ahead. Go fuck yourself. Have fun with it. But anyways. Alright y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we're at 855 subs. We're heading up to 900. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.